Good morning everyone. So it is literally 6am so get ready for the worst lighting in a video that you've ever seen. But it is the only time that I can film because it's winter, um, it's dark by the time I leave the house and by the time I get home from work. So here we are. Today I'm going to be filming a thrift slash op shop haul. Um, I've been recently getting really into this because one, I'm trying to save money and two, I'm trying to save the environment. So yeah, I thought I would show you guys what I found. I went to Savers and I had a really, really, really successful op shopping trip. Probably one of the most successful ones I've ever had. And I literally was like the last person there and they kept calling out like, we're closing in one minute and I was still trying things on like such an annoying person, but I had so much good stuff that I want to try on. So let's get into it because I really don't want to be late for work. So I'll start with clothes and I'll start with this one first because it's by far my favourite. I got this top which has a really gorgeous print on it and I love the red. I didn't really have anything red. I actually really like how this colour looks on me even when I'm pale in winter. So yeah, it's really cute. The original brand is Feather and Noise and I looked it up and it would have probably been like $60. I've been literally wearing this once a week to work minimum since I got it. It's so cute. I'm obsessed. Another kind of boho printy thing I got is this little skirt. This was $7 and I just wanted like a cute short skirt. Um, when we went to Bali a lot of my friends had little skirts like this to just wear with a crop and it was super cute and I just had denim skirt and when you're in a humid, humid country denim skirts aren't really the most comfortable thing to wear so I wanted something loose like this. I think it would be perfect when I go to Vietnam and it's by the brand Free Fusion. I found like one of my biggest things while op shopping is that I have to stop looking at the brand. I am such a whore for brands and I'll be op shopping and I'll be like, oh, that's really cute. And then I'll look at the brand and be like, oh, like that's like from Target or something. And to an extent, I still do that because if it's like $15 at the op shop because Australian op shops are very expensive and it's like a Target brand, I could have technically got it for that price brand new. So I don't feel like it's really worth it, but um, I've got to stop looking at brands because it does not matter. The next thing I got is this black dress. This is by the brand Taquitos, which is actually a brand that they sell at Myers. So this was a really good find. Really good work dress um, when it warms up. And this was $14 and usually probably would have been like 50 bucks or something. It has like a little bit of um, stitching here where like the clasp thing has broken that you would kind of clasp together, but that's fine. Not really a problem so yeah that one's really good for work I think this time when I went I also had a huge mindset of wanting to buy work clothes because works where I spend five out of seven days a week um, so yeah I was really focused on trying to find work stuff the next top is also a work top this is just like a black top with like a little v-neck and it has these really long bits down the back which I thought would look really cute with just like a skirt or some black pants for work um, it was five bucks or not even four fifty, and it's by Rumor Boutique and Rumor Boutique I think is one of those brands they sell at like MCL and on all of those like little online fashion um, boutiques so yeah it was a pretty good steal for four dollars fifty I think and the last clothing item I got is this dress which um, I guess was like my one non-practical purchase of the day <laughs> In the sense that I have no plan of where I'm going to wear this dress, but I just thought it was so cool and I couldn't not get it. Like, I thought it would just be cool to have for when I do have an event. And it's just, like, a really unique design, I think. It's by A-C-L-E-R. Okay, whoever was pricing... Whoever... Woo, oh my god. This... Okay. This is how people make a profit from thrift shopping. Whoever was pricing these clearly did not know that these dresses sell from between 300 to 600 Australian dollars. Well, I'm really happy with this purchase even more so now. I got this for $12. 12 freaking dollars. This is a really, really unique dress. I love how it has the one long sleeve and one short sleeve and also the detailing at the bottom. Like, it really just sits nicely on my body, I think. That is just actually unbelievable. What a find. <laughs> Next thing I got is these shoes. These are just Steve Madden, which I don't even know if we have that brand here or not, but I found these actually on a separate trip when I was with my friend Jen, and she was 
she was so close to buying them but they didn't really fit her and I was like oh can I try them on and I ended up getting them I think they were like 10 bucks and um or maybe 15 dollars I reckon they were in like perfect condition and they're so cute for work shoes and it like literally solved my lifelong problem of every time I buy work shoes I get such bad blisters because I need to wear them in these were already slightly worn in and so no blisters and then I also found these shoes and these Reminded me of like a cheaper looking version of my Tony Bianco slides that I'm obsessed with. Just with the, you know, the platform. I love like a, a flat form shoe because I'm short. <laughs> but also I don't like wearing heels all the time because it kills your feet. So I saw these and I was like, I actually love these. This material is a little plasticky and tacky. I have a plan for this actually. And I've done this before with Kmart sandals and I'm going to do it again now with these shoes. I'm just going to cut the strap off. Like literally just cut it off. I'm probably going to need to unstitch that at some point, but for the sake of this video, I think these are a really cute summery shoe, and um, they were only $13 compared to a Tony Bianco slide, which is like $150, so can't complain. And then the last thing I found was this really cute little bag. Um, this was $4, and it's pretty impractical, I think, because it's literally so thin, like it's like actually that big, but I thought it could be cute to try and use as a beach bag or something in summer or for shopping. It's like that classic like Instagram straw bag look and they had like three of them so in hindsight I probably should have bought them all for my friends or something but if you were to buy this from like a fancy little Byron Bay boutique you'd be paying like 60 so I'm pretty happy with that so that's everything I got from the op shop I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm really sorry about the lighting I know this is ridiculous but um, summer's coming daylight savings is in like a month maybe so then I'll be able to film in the mornings with some natural sunlight let's hope but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway um, and if you like these type of videos let me know because I'm currently absolutely obsessed with thrift shopping so I'm sure there'll be more to come thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time